Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I go by the name of Bookie and today we are discussing the topic of how we will become gods. I believe we'll become gods and achieve this status of immortality through a very specific path that we'll be forced to go down. So first of all, if we look 200 years ago, our life expectancies were only around the age of 35, 40, 45 years if we were lucky. And if we take that to today with the rise of technology and the world of medicine, you can see that our average life expectancy has been boosted up to 80 years and this is very achievable if you take care of your physical health. So the main reason for this was of course through the advancement of medicine and we are no longer dying of all of these viruses and diseases because we have found cures for and we are now we now have immunizations for a large majority of them but I think if we take this into the future we will have a cure or be immunized to every single virus and disease out there so there will be nothing to hinder us from achieving our natural biologic potential life expectancy. So after this stage, I think we'll start to use different types of drugs and different types of therapies to boost both our mental capabilities as well as our physical bodies. So first of all, with the physical bodies, I think that we'll have these computers that scan our whole entire bodies and then they'll be able to interpret every single factor which is not optimized yet. So we'll be able to look, for example, in adult males, we'll be able to scan like the optimal testosterone level and whatever uh, we come up with we'll be able to dope our levels up to that level so after that we'll be able to do that with every single hormone and every single factor of our body so that will further of course increase our natural biologic potential and then after that that's of course when we get to the stage of using different types of neurotropics or smart drugs as they're called to boost our mental capabilities and I think these drugs once we harness the power of this technology we'll be able to increase the processing power of our brains so then we'll be able to come up with completely different concepts and be able to interpret these concepts that we previously were not able to understand in any fashion so this will increase the rate of which technology is advancing and rising and technology from going up exponentially like this or once we unlock our potential through these types of drugs will be going up like this. So after this stage I think we'll get on to nanobot technology. So with nanobot technology if you look at yesterday's like from the 1960s the supercomputers from that era those supercomputers took up entire buildings like multiple levels like entire skyscrapers that's how big these computers were and those computers of that day cost millions and millions of dollars they were so expensive they were the top level of technology at that era but those supercomputers are less powerful than our iPhones today and they cost millions of dollars and now we can get an iPhone for a few hundred dollars and so if we take that into the future we will go to with our supercomputers we take up multiple levels of buildings as well like they did in the past but ours are so much more uh, powerful and we'll be able to take that into the future and those supercomputers of today will be the size of iPhones of tomorrow and then if we take that a little bit further into the future those supercomputers from the size of an iPhone will be down to the size of a little tiny minute cell and with that cell which is now a supercomputer we'll be able to stick it straight into our bloodstream through our capillaries and into our brain and they will act like perfect white blood cells like little robots fighting off any types of dangers to our bodies like any types of cancerous tumors or whatever it happens to be and that will of course increase our life expectancy a little bit further and then after this stage this is when the wacky and impossible starts to come into the equation and we come to the path of when we have the technology to download our consciousness into a computer hard drive and we do this by scanning our brain finding out every single one of the processes of our brain sticking our consciousness into a computer hard drive and then we get that computer hard drive and then we with that computer hard drive we have the choice of two different possibilities of the outcomes of our lives this is when we do reach immortality so the two choices are do we stay in this world get that hard drive and plug it into a robotic body so now we have our human consciousness inside of a robotic body so we have escaped biology altogether so now we are living in that robot's body 
and that body is now us and we control that body like it was our own previously? Or do we get that hard drive and plug it into a computer simulation and escape reality altogether and live in the computer simulation. So that is how I believe we'll become gods in the future and that is how we'll be able to bring human evolution into our own hands and that is how we will become gods in the very near future by 2050. Thank you guys. If you like this video and you found it fascinating, please be sure to check out my other videos as well as leave a like, a comment, discussing these topics and if you really did enjoy this video, please help me out and share this video with some of your friends that might be interested in these videos. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys around in the next video. A lot more to come. Thank you. See ya.